I, I'm gonna I'm gonna steal a segment a little bit and rename it. So we're basically this is gonna basically be good EV, bad EV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like bad it. timing. That's yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but we don't talk timing. bad about EVs. Also, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, so, slam. <laughs> so, here's a new segment. So I want, I want you guys first to look at the tail lights. Okay, I already saw them and I hate them. Why? 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 Cadillac Why? needs to calm itself down. Yeah. <laughs> this is like the meme of BMW with the kidney grills now for the taillights of a Cadillac. Yeah. What is happening? I know. Hey guys, welcome back to the Third Pedal Podcast. I'm Jacob. Oh man. I'm Zach. <laughs> I'm Tyler. Wow, we built in lag to the live show. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back to the There's show. There's no everybody. lag. It's just us. Yeah. We're just slow. I hope, I hope you guys are having a good week. How's your guys' week going? It's been good. Good to be here. <laughs> good to yep. be in studio. Um, we've got some cool stuff to go over today. Um, specifically some builds that have been sent in. I feel bad yeah. for anybody who's sent in these pictures because like we've like gotten the messages, been like, dude, we'll talk about it. And then like we record in like iterations or like yeah. in the future. Yeah. So it seems so like forever so until it's actually like, talked about. Episode and they listen, and they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's not in there. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, but yeah, there was two two specifically that I pulled out that I thought would fit really well into today and then a little bit of history that goes with one of them. So first up was this crazy one. I think you guys are both yeah. We were just talking no. Are we going to include that BTS? Maybe. Why? Well, we should finish the conversation about his spider traps real quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you didn't even talk about your golf yet. Yeah. At oh. all, like, period? Yeah, I don't think you've talked I about being you... back in the golf store thing mm, anymore. Huh? Yeah, 100%. What? Yeah, when I, the, the, like, the week after I got the car, we recorded an episode, and I talked about, like, my plans for the car and everything. I don't think we, did we really? Positive. Okay, well, I'm losing it. Well, anyway. So I think yeah. the first time you were back, you did, like, did we really? Because we talked about his Beamer, because he was gone the whole time he had the Beamer. Oh, yeah. okay. And then he was back, and then talked about the... Okay. I sold that, got the Volkswagen. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. That. I don't remember so it, talking about the Mark IV. Interesting. Pretty okay. common thing. This is like... Yeah. I only know it because I'm in the group for my car. Yeah. For my uh, Tiguan. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the sunroof, and I think you guys had it just sport wagons too. Like the sunroof is just known to leak. Yeah, I had the panoramic and, one, and that's kind of a built-in. Like everybody yeah. who was looking at it to buy it was just like, oh, has the sunroof yet? Does it leak? <laughs> So at least for mine, the the issue is the spider traps. So there's a little like around the whole sunroof. There's like places for the rain to go, and then it drains down through the fender wells. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then they have little traps on the bottom of those called spider traps. So that because there's little holes at the bottom, so it's spiders and bugs and stuff Gross. don't get up there and like jam that whole tube, so it doesn't leak your sunroof. Gross. But then sediment and junk and stuff on your car and like uh, leave like particles holes get in through this way and then clog it so huh, most of the time you can take like a pliers and just boom, just like unplug it and then oh. it'll like drain out and then you won't have that issue interesting, interesting. if that's the same design as in i know that's a 2004 yeah 2004. Versus 2020 so but i think it's the same, same type of, of design yeah, yeah they have the same sunroof drain thing i thought you meant like I thought you were making a joke about the video that we watched with the spiders, like oh, no. the dashboard of the car. <laughs> oh no! So they're like, a thing. Spider yeah, no. I was like, okay, there are spider traps. So if you have a Volkswagen oh, and your funny. sunroof leaks, and the dealer wants to replace the whole sunroof, check your spider traps. Probably. Um, have we ever? Does yours smell like crayons? I know that's a big Mark IV thing. Um, <laughs> Wait, I've never no. heard that. You've not heard that. It smells like crayons. Yeah, yeah everybody no. says Mark IV interiors smell like crayons. You no, just, the A6. The A6 smelled like crayons, like crazy. Yeah, it did. No, was but it the, the plastic? Um, we're going to pause real quick. Are you okay? Okay, so we cut here because spider we traps. didn't know where to stop. We were talking about spider thing. traps. We thought somebody fell really bad upstairs. Yeah, we were talking about spider real traps. Quick. Real quick. Got a hair. Thanks, All bro. Right. We're good. Um, but anyway. <laughs> we yeah, got it together. I don't even know where to start. We're good. We got it together. <laughs> we're going to well, just... Mike? We're just going to have a little... <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, guys. A lot just wow. happened now. Thanks for riding with us. Your car doesn't smell like crayons, but your previous one does. Oh, yeah, you <laughs> educated us on spider traps. I don't even know where we're going to cut it, but we're going to figure it out. So <laughs> we got some cars. Um, you guys submitted in. in. Two that we're really excited to talk about. Let's get into it. So the first up was uh, this guy named Mike. He sent in. He's got like the weirdest, the weirdest car collection ever and like a ton of them. And he introed it as like, I don't know. I have like kind of weird taste in cars. And then reading his collection was like, I'm 100% like, on board. Oh, yeah. All of the cool. Like, oh, you're just like an enthusiast who like 
had funds. This yeah. is great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so he's like the comments on a lot of the like Tyler creator or the rapper videos. Yeah. Are like, oh, if I had that much money, I'd buy those too. Yes. And he's just like, oh, I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> and he, did that. Uh, I couldn't remember Tyler. I couldn't remember. He commented on the Tyler the creator video, right? Is that where we heard so. of him? Okay. And then he messaged us on uh, Instagram. Yeah. Sent a I, bunch of stuff on Instagram. And yeah. I think he emailed us too. Yes. He yeah. sent us a Google oh, wow. Drive link. I downloaded yeah, some yeah. of his photos awesome. to show. Awesome. awesome. Um, but dude, like, thank you, Mike, for sending. You sent message after message after message outlining the entire process. Yeah. I summarized it here in our notes. I'll go through and tell the story but um really really cool so mike's got a huge car collection the one i thought that was the coolest was an 83 sc safari 911 so Ooh. it's like lifted safari tires pod lights everything like yes. that Ooh, but he's got so awesome. a whole array he's got a 50s um the i forget what it's called the uh the porsche spider convertible like old silver race car got a bunch of 911s a couple new 911s bunch of land rovers um, really diverse, cool collection of just like mm -hmm. fun, neat cars. Yeah. That, and he even said, he's like, I'm not really that much of a supercar guy. I just like, I'm an enthusiast and this is the stuff that I chose mm -hmm. to buy. So what caught our attention was uh, we shared that Tyler, the creator video, we we're going over his collection and there's a, uh, there was a Lancia Delta in there, or as people in our comments section said, it's pronounced Lancia. Yeah. Is it? I guess. I don't. <laughs> I don't like the that. Internet I has think spoken. I refuse to say it. I'm just going to go Lancia. <laughs> I think it's one of those things because like, Lancia. Um, <laughs> Every like the car companies pronounce yeah. them differently for where they are. Yeah. So like Volkswagen is Volkswagen. Yes. You know, yeah. in Germany. Jaguar like, is Jaguar. Yeah. Apparently Did Jaguar we, we say it too? wrong too. <laughs> Jaguar. I remember I, I we commented back on one of you. I remember who you are. I was like, oh, are you one of those Jaguar people? <laughs> <laughs> But so he, this is, this is America. So he commented stuff wrong. Yeah. So he commented on that video, and I think it was something like, "Oh, I'm I like built one of those. Or I have one." And we we're like, "Yeah, right." Uh, could you sell us more? And so then he found <laughs> us on Instagram, and he started sending us information. So mm -hmm. he got a 1994 uh, Lancia Delta Evo two. Uh, he Dang. imported it from Japan with 100,000 miles on it, and this wow. is the part that I love. It had rough body, bad respray, good overall. Um, but he drove it as is for five months. Yeah, and he ripped it. Sweet. He said he drove the crap out of they it. Blew the head gasket. He <laughs> had a, yeah, he had a great time. Blue head gasket. Also, awesome. at that point, he's like, okay, he had this cool car. Blue head gasket. Now he needs somebody to work on it here in the states. Um, these things were never in the states. So yeah. he's contacting all these like automotive refurbishing shops, and nobody oh. would touch it. Nobody would do anything because there was nobody experienced with this this yeah, engine, this platform. So Lancia, they have like it's weird to think of other cars outside of the US that aren't here right because we're like well I think right off the bat like well is it a is it a Audi engine is right it yeah. a, exactly you know, like who who did they partner with to do it and it's yeah it's I'm guessing it's just theirs yeah I guess I don't know I think it is just theirs I don't know that for sure though I'm sure they're married with somebody but I don't know mm -hmm. who it is but yeah apparently so nobody would touch it he couldn't find anybody to work on it that was reputable here um he found one big parts dealer and it was uh, the parts dealer is Tank Barrett which oh. actually is the owner too that's his name He's just the biggest like That's awesome. parts guy, but he's over yeah. in the UK. Um, so he was trying to find like anybody that could work on it. He found one place in the States that would work on it, but they were going to be a year delay mm. to work on it. And then at that point, they were going to pull the engine and send it to Tank and have Tank work on oh, it. Well, so that well. was going to be another year. So he's like, yeah. oh, I'm two years out. So he's going back and forth with them over and over. Um, he finally got a message back from Tank who essentially the long story short was he found somebody who was able to turn the car around in six months. So they were going to be able to work on it. Whoa. It ended up going to the UK. Tank was the one wow. working on the engine, but it was a much faster process to get in and do all that. So That's he decided cool. to go go ahead and do that. Um, so he gets the thing. This was sad. Like he gets it all like ready to go, gets it all organized, the shipping, the insurance, all that, gets Don't it ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Stop reading. Stop reading the head. I keep catching myself reading on the note. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I got so lost in it, man. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> sorry. I was like, you started leaning forward more quickly. <laughs> He's just, he's just sitting there. It's like, wow, every nut and bolt, really. <laughs> well, the, can you? He's like, he just interrupts you. Like, can you scroll a little bit? <laughs> he grabs the mouse and scrolls for me. Wait. Okay, so yeah, I do not have this story memorized. Everybody, I'm reading. It. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So he he's getting the thing. He gets it all sorted out. Gets it good to go. Gets in the shipping bay in L.A. And it gets held up because COVID and everything's not oh, shipping. Everything's stuck. No. So it sits there for, I Dang. forget what he said, a few months. It's stuck. D doesn't do anything. It sits there. Finally, it gets shipped out and they proceed with this whole restoration and they rebuilt the whole thing. So I got some pictures of this thing. He yeah, sent us like a huge, um, like a huge folder of everything. All the, all the images of like his process and going through this thing. He said when they, when they tore the engine apart, they were shocked that it had never been opened before. They said it looked really, really clean, even for an wow. engine that blew the head gasket. Um, but they rebuilt everything. Um, they did a full like strip down of the chassis, um, restored everything there. It had a little bit of rust. They got all that mm -hmm. fixed. 
Um, so they did that part of it, but he's doing like a really cool like OEM plus build on it. So this is like a photo of this thing completely yeah. stripped down, obviously. Um, here's Ooh, let me find nice. the before. Yeah, this is the this is what the engine looked like when he opened it up. It's not bad, oh, not bad. Just it's, looks, you looks know, like a engine. you got a lot of the carbon buildup and stuff. Yep, like that is consistent with a yeah head gasket. It doesn't look like anything crazy though, right? Yeah. Like even the tops of the pistons themselves look fine. Mm -hmm. Um, so that was that. So then he got everything. Oh, fine to us. Got, I'm yeah. sure someone building a who's putting that in it. Yeah, they're like, like, that's terrible. Ah, <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> <ew>. <laughs> so this is what it looks like now. This is the internals. Looks wow. great. Obviously, it looks like they machined it's the head. Beautiful. Yeah, it's um, beautiful. Yeah, it looks super nice. He did the full like zinc treatment on mm. everything too. Ooh. Looks gorgeous. Mm. But mm. he, so the he consistency said. Consistency of color of stuff. Of yeah. Like it's either bronze or it's yes. silver. Looks so nice. So then here's engine back in. Wow. Wow. And this Ugh. thing as it says these now. These are such good looking cars. Why don't we get these? I don't know, dude. It's like so it. cool. Look at the fender flares. It looks awesome. But anyway, so this, so he said the the whole thing, like he rebuilt it. He did the Man. suspension. It had like lowering springs on it before, but he put a new, like a new full suspension on it that would restore it to original ride height. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, cool. The interior, I guess on these is really known to like rattle around and clack and make all these horrible sounds. So the guy, Tank, who's working on this, he paid him a little bit extra to do, I guess he does some like modifying to the plastic mounts and everything so it doesn't mm. do that anymore. And he dynamated oh, the whole sweet. thing so that's it'd be smart. nice and quiet inside. But he's going to keep, he wants to keep the light Alcantara interior. That's mm -hmm. like his goal with it. So I don't think this is the final color he's landing on. Um, he had said I he's take kind the of red, though. Oh, it looks so the good. Red yeah, nice. red he, he's been debating because he wants something that's gonna look. It's kind of cool. He wants the interior that way, so he's finding something that'll look good with that interior. Yeah, that's that like makes his sense. goal for it. That makes sense. Um, but super good OEM plus build. Um, for he sure. said from the factory these things had like two hundred to two fifty horsepower. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't sound like he has any crazy horsepower goals with it, but he doesn't want to have to touch the engine anymore. So he built the engine as if it was going to have like four or five hundred horsepower. Sweet. Yeah. He never want to has never wants to open it again. Never wants to ship it back to the UK. Yeah. But um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Touch Mike just took a digger. <laughs> uh, so anyway, so that was Mike's car. That's um, so this was cool, the dude. notable one. This is one. I mean, like you said, you just don't see those like right. in the states at all. I'm ever. trying to figure out. So it's it's the Lancia Delta Evo two. So is it yep. is it supposed to be it's obviously a competition for other rally. Like that looks like yep. Audi Coupe Quattro yep. type of and type that's, of feel. Yeah, this was Group B days. That's gotcha, what it was. Gotcha. So okay. it, it was the Makes competition sense. for like the S one and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't. So I, I believe it's all all wheel drive. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it must be turbocharged if it's the four cylinder. Um, I guess four so. cylinder in that size has got to be if it's hitting two hundred fifty yeah, horsepower. Yeah, yeah. Because um, that was like nine forty four turbo. Unless it's like a three liter four cylinder or something big. It doesn't look that nah, big though. No, I mean, I, I guess it's hard. It's hard to judge the scale from it. But well, what is the is there any trying to find that guy? Yeah, there's uh there, let me zoom in on this guy. It's just a six Yep, yep, there we go. <laughs> That's what you're looking for. I don't valve know what cover, you were looking mostly, for. Mostly, mostly. I thought you were looking for the valves for some reason. Unless it's a Porsche <laughs> where they're like, yeah, it's a Turbo S. And it's like, well, it's electric belt, yeah. you know? <laughs> That's a brand. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so that was Mike's. <coughs> I don't think I missed anything on here, but yeah, every nut and bolt replaced, full sandblast, yeah. paint job, restoring the interior, building the engine that way. Oh, this was, I hope you guys didn't read it. Did no, you see how no, much it cost? I no. did. You did. I didn't look. Sorry. So guess how much? So he did this full thing. He sent it over. Had the full thing. You did read it. <laughs> you. No, no. I said as you're asking that, cheek. my eyes caught numbers. Is it two hundred to two fifty? Oh no! How much do you think it would cost? Wait, that was what? Not it. That was not it. To how, import it? No, no. Or to so send it over to, to do this full tank and the rebuild. Full rebuild. It. Jeez, Is this including import? I am so like. No, it's not including the original purchase of the car, I don't think. No, I mean importing it. Like in, This is including shipping to the UK, Yes, getting it done, and shipping it back. I believe so. Okay. I think that's what he's quoting us. I don't know. Okay, my mind says six figures, but I... Who knows? I could, you know, shipping overseas is what? A couple Gs to ship something overseas? I actually looked into this. Don't factor that part to... in, because that's such a small part of it. Yeah, do, it's the rebuild, rebuild that I'm trying to think of, because I'm like, I'm still like, uh, I don't know scarred or whatever is the right thing from from the we talked about gunter works and singer and stuff oh, yeah. last time and it's like it's oh, basically a yeah. million dollars you're not getting out of there yeah. for a million dollars okay it was not that car. okay it was actually really it's a very fifty thousand dollars final answer very close okay 60 grand i might have picked that up from my periphery <laughs> <From my perif. laughs> so i think that's cool though because he yeah. like his car collection clearly he could go buy any like supercar he could go buy yeah. anything like that he's got the funds for it but i think it's cool that he bought like approximately like what what like Hellcat ish like newer Corvette ish like great price range to yeah, rebuild yeah. an old rally legend the correct way yeah. ship it to the UK find the guy build it 
bring it back, enjoy the crap out of it. Yeah. And like the fact that he drove it so hard originally when he got it to blow yeah. that gasket to yeah. get it back to go drive that's it hard awesome. again. To that's be awesome. Totally honest. This story gives me so much hope <laughs> that I can own a cool car one day. Yeah, right. Yeah. Because I always thought like whenever I saw one of these, I was like, oh, that's like 150, 200 plus. Right. Just because of how rare they are now. Right. Yeah, right. So to know that he got one shipped here, yeah. shipped it out and had that thing like like head to toe completely right. un, like undone. Right. Undone? Yeah. Uh, redone. Redone. <laughs> redone. Thank you. <laughs> undone first. Undone, yeah, and then undone, undone, redone. Undone, then redone. <laughs> yeah. um, it was undone and then done. Like, but the done was that, redone. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but it sounds like, like he's he's into the whole thing for under 100. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't, you know, I don't this, know what his original purchase price was. Yeah, that for is the cap- condition, I bet it was probably. Right. I, bet, I would bet like twenty. Yeah, they made ten so, to twenty something. Like but that. Like let us f- know if we're wrong because I have no idea the no land yeah, zero, at yeah, all. No clue. No clue. But no. If, the, if the whole thing to restore the whole thing from top to bottom is only sixty, mm-hmm. I can't imagine mm-hmm. the original purchase could have been much more, just because yeah. of how much Fair. parts and everything you had yeah. to buy. To well, do and from that. some of his photos too, it wasn't like he bought like it. It was like a project car. Like it had yeah. some rust here and there. It had yep. like some stuff that needed yep. to be repaired. He put new metal in it. Like, yep. I don't know. It's cool. It's just like the really cool. It's a very, very cool, like just enthusiast totally. on something like yeah. that. And to have something now that he's got this headroom to add more boost, he can do whatever he wants or he can just enjoy it as is. No, it's going to be reliable. Yeah. Um, there's Super definitely cool. a spectrum of uh, guys who have a large budget for buying cars. Yes. It's either like a... G wagon and an Aventador, or something, you know, yes, yes. those two yes. are like the McLaren 650 and a G wagon. It's usually yes. like a SUV and a supercar, yeah, or it's 25 <laughs> cool, yes. like yes. project car, like need work, imported, yes. older cars, rare stuff. Yes. Like, that's really you see that on every scale, too, because yeah. you definitely see the person who's like, you probably could afford like a uh, one nice sedan yeah. or a coupe sports car, but then they have like six rollers, yeah, and then one beat to crap thing that yep. actually runs yep. you know it's yep. like having but it's so fun it's to point. have multiple projects and stuff yeah. like that you know yeah that's he, like tons of car people you yeah know? they have all that stuff he commented to one of his 911s has um he built he had two engines rebuilt he was saying like and 60 he was saying 60 is not bad because mm-hmm. i've paid 50 for two of these 911 engines to get rebuilt before and yeah. he rebuilt them at the shop that builds the gunther works stuff wow so he hey. has built there i forget the name of it but um, that's but yeah he said that so he was just like that considering like this mm-hmm. is like a cool yeah. cheap toy some of those engines like I will do this all the time I know we all do it like we're all hanging out in marketplace all the time so I'm shopping <laughs> for cars all the yeah. time in marketplace <laughs> and I'll find like a I found a 911 recently that had a, a blown engine mm. and all I'll do is I'll screenshot it I'll screenshot the description I'll text it to my guy mm. Alec who works yeah. on my stuff yeah Hey, what do you think this will cost? To re- oh. And he's like, that's going to be a lot. <laughs> he ballparks and I'm like, okay, I try to factor that into the price. He you know, like, that if it makes sense still. <laughs> and then uh, the most recent one was uh, uh, Gallardo. Oh, okay. With a gated manual. Oh, That had sick. a blown engine. And I was like, LS swap it, bro. Yeah, no, I suggested something. Dude, 07K. I was like, should we 07K? He's like, he's probably like, that's probably going to be more costly than just fixing the end. <laughs> I was like, I don't care. That's just cool. Gonna You're like, oh, 7K the world. It's yeah. the coolest. <laughs> oh, 7K the world. I'm with you. Uh-huh. So anyway, thank you, Mike, for sending that in. So then I got one more I wanted to run over. Yeah, uh, this sweet. is Casey's. So Casey started off his message to us saying, and I think this is rad. I'm just going to read his message and then go over his build because his build was then like, dude, what? This is the coolest person ever. So He's like, we really enjoy your show. I say we because we downloaded the show to listen offline while fighting fire in California. Wow. The last show we listened to was the liquid piston That's concept awesome. engine. Cool idea. You guys mentioned in the end uh, the show about having a virtual club. Again, cool idea. I would love to hear what you guys think about my family's hot rod. And then he sent some photos. Ooh. So first off, thank you so much. Like that yeah, man. gave us all like goosebumps. And we're like, what? Like that you're you're downloading this to listen while you guys are fighting fires and everything. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for your service. Yeah. Being like an um, actual hero out yeah. there. Yeah. And we're just like, this car looks funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? That's yeah. Awesome, so man. like, Thank so then for, on yeah. top of that, then he, uh, he had, he had gone on later to say he'd messaged us back and told us a little bit more about his car, but he said he ordered a, this is my garage shirt. He's going to take a picture of him and his buddies with that, wearing it in front of the rig that they're working That's on. That's awesome. So cool. So yeah, hugely so touching. Awesome. Thank you, man. Um, but this car that you're building. Wow. Okay. So let me, I just pull up photos that I've got some examples of it. So this is based on a, 1951 like a little bit further Ooh. forward oh yeah i'm sh- oh here with can i sit stand. on this maybe no, that's no. recording there we go all right wow <laughs> take that thing in dude what dude, are we looking at up here is that a- <laughs> okay so let me you guys look here i'll look there 
I love the patina on it. Like yeah, so cool. It looks amazing. Hey, this tr- this thing gets so much cooler. Okay, okay. are those no Toyota Camry rims? I noticed that this time too, <laughs> but it doesn't match so. with anything else. That's so a, that's a Toyota logo. It's one thousand percent Toyota logo. But aren't they? Aren't those six bolts? Aren't these? Oh, maybe like six bolt truck wheels. Maybe they're the truck. Possibly. Wheels. No clue. Yeah. So. This gets weird really quick, okay? Okay. So this is a 1951 Chevy 3100 Mastercraft. Okay. On a 2004 Escalade chassis. Okay? The Trucks r- are so weird the that you could just, <laughs> <laughs> you could just be like it's like Lego. It's like it's like our RC cars. Where yes. You just take the pins out and pull the body yes, and exactly. like I drive a truck now. Okay. <laughs> so you, so you want to know the swap. reason he did it? Okay, yeah. So the reason is he wanted to be able to daily drive it in Idaho all year long and all wheel drive was a bust. Dude. Oh, that's so, dude. the coolest. <laughs> so huh. it's got disc brakes, four link rear yeah. suspension, limited slip in the rear. Wow. So then the next thing is the other purpose in him building this is he is taking it to the salt flats. Oh, because he wants to set speed records in this dude. <laughs> right. It's just nuts. So, um, holy cow. That's me, awesome. I'm going to share a little bit more about his goal. He was planning on going this year. I guess it got rained out. I didn't know that this year It all got flooded with all the rain and stuff that was happening oh. on the West coast. So they actually canceled all the events. So he's like, that's cool. Was it a lake they, again? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's so, not good. So they were going to go for 130. That was their goal. So I guess they have tiers out there. So they yeah. were going to go to join the 130 club. But he's like, this gives us a little bit more time. So next year, we're going to try to do 130 and 150. And mm-hmm. that, his grand goal is to hit 200, <laughs> which that is aggressive. <laughs> 200 so scary. In a yeah. brick. And I guess they call that the Red Hat Club out there, which is cool. So I guess he's going to join the Red Hat I Club. I want to join the Red Hat Club. So that also, sounds awesome. We need to go. I don't know if I want to join. Oh, no. not that one. <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. Red hat. It's just a red hat. Okay. <laughs> So anyway, so he's got some photos of the uh, pillow on it. That is so funny. <laughs> so this is, he redid the whole, obviously, fuse wow. panel and everything. This is a completely modern car underneath the whole patina finish. So he's got that yeah. thing in there. This is Wait, another what shot. Your, um Escalade did you say it was put on? 2004. Okay, okay. It's not super, super new. I'm just yeah. assuming it's all standalone and everything, though. I would love to see an interior it's picture if you could send that. So fuse like panels built like that. Wheel base and everything had to have matched. Or do you think he had to do some fabrication? Mm, could probably chop it up a little know. bit. It might I mean, be close. A, if it's a truck frame, yeah. you got like tubes, and then you got... Yeah. Mounts for the engine, mounts for the diff. And then just you drive know, shaft blank. Like, yeah. And then cut the drive shaft. Yeah. I stuff. guess. Yeah. It's not That's horrible. Like, uh, never mind. We'll get to it. No, so There's then, another guy who has something like that. that yeah. That we've, yeah. we've been talking to. So I just love, he sends, he's sends. he got this video Ooh. on here. That wine. Wow. Is it supercharged? Must be. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going 100%. Yeah. Dude, it looks so just good. Just a donut. I love wine. Wine. But I love... He wants to set speed records with this. And he's like, hey, it's snowed. Can you hold my phone real quick? Yeah. Do some donuts. <laughs> oh, he's driving. It. Yeah. It's, it's not so some, cool. it's not a garage queen that they're like prepping for like this no. one event and then right. it's gonna sit in a garage with a plaque on it. Right. You know what I mean? Right. He's doing donuts in the right. snow well, too. Right. right. Yeah. In Idaho. And then the whole purpose of building this was like, I just want to be able to daily drive a 51 Chevy. Exactly. And then he drove it That's was like, awesome. this thing's pretty quick. I wonder how fast it can go. And then it's just building it for that now. <laughs> yeah. So you're awesome, dude. That's yeah. so if we awesome. can't, like, I would love to go out to the 2023 event and be able to, like, witness this. When is it? Do this. It's the end of the year. So I think it was okay. going to happen about, I think it's like August, September. No, okay. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, yeah. Hopefully but I guess it was rained out this year. It's dry and next I know that year. we had that event in Vegas that uh, they uh, it almost got rained out. The tents and stuff we had outside were getting flooded, which was weird because you don't think about that in Vegas in the it's desert. Usually a problem. Yeah. Yeah. But um. But yeah. So anyway, so that was this guy's cart. So I want to go through here. I don't wow. think I missed anything. Yeah. Shooting for the 130, 150 club. Um. Just yeah, crazy. I I don't know. And maybe you can clarify, Casey, too. I don't know if it's this truck specifically that you want to hit 200 or if you just want to hit 200 and something else. It sounded like it was all this truck by yeah. how he worded the message. Yeah. Um, but yeah, at again, some point, I wonder, like 200 is pretty fast. I know we're kind of numb to like high speeds because oh, we see those dude, cars that race from 200 to 300. To the next thing. Yeah. But like at some point, I wonder with this, if you run into aerodynamic, like I wonder how much yeah. modification you'll have to do to the body yes, to totally. get to that. Yes. Because well, you see that. they all have those really long, like, yeah. uh, like horizontal spoiler running off the back end. Yeah. Whenever they and do then the they have the whole thing. underbody spoiler. Yep. Well, and even and like the wheels too. are like covered and yeah. capped because yeah. the drag on that matters. And the thing I wanted to go into, so because they're doing the salt flats, I don't know much about the salt flats race. I just know yeah, like we've seen jet cars once mm-hmm. before when we were younger. And we were like, well, that's fast. So I just dove into the history of this event a little bit. And it's shocking. Nobody looked yeah. at the screen because okay, okay, I got dates okay. and notes and stuff. Ah, it's on me. Okay, so <laughs> this thing started in 1912. Okay, that was the mm-hmm. first time Wait, they what? raced on this. What were they running? Was their top speed like 50? 
No. Okay. Is that, is that office scene where they're running by the sign That's to funny. figure out? That's <laughs> funny. Yeah, yeah, what's the thing? In. 30 30 30 30 30. 30. Yes. 31! 31! There was the car. That's... Okay, so it's it's a 10 to 12 mile straight. So I guess the, oh, wow. the Utah State Police or whoever it is, they actually like sanction off like, all right, this is where this thing's going to be based on the conditions and everything. Is it like... This might be a dumb question. Oh. Is it like, do they have a highway going through there? Or is it literally like they're it's driving on the bottom of what was the lake? That. Wow. Yeah. And it's, I guess, because of the conditions and everything, it doesn't, they say it doesn't kick up dust. It must not kick up sediment because I definitely see dust when these guys race this. Yeah. There's definitely something behind them. But I guess it's a very unique condition of it. It is perfectly flat. It mm -hmm. is flawless because of the way that it settles. And there's no like sediment stuff kicked up. So maybe it's so not, not a, like loose. Because I would imagine it yeah. almost be like driving on sand. Like, wouldn't yeah. you think you'd slip a lot? But maybe it is so That's what salt I flat, like hard. I think it's, it's like the, concrete. It like, kind of crystallizes, I think. Oh, so it's like that, but perfect. Nice and grippy. And so I, I wonder if maybe there's reduced risk of like things getting sucked into turbos or anything like that to turbine engines, things like that. Maybe it's Makes safer sense. for it. Mm -hmm. Makes um, sense. But so this thing started in 1912. The first speed that's record, crazy. and I think it was 1912, that's when they first started messing with stuff. Mm -hmm. The first, no one look at the screen. The first speed record was set out there in 1914. Mm -hmm. What do you think? 1914, what do you think the speed record they set out there is? Was it on a horse? 22 miles an hour. Quick guess. All right, 22? Yeah. What's your guess? 15. 15? 124 miles Whoa. an hour. What? <laughs> yes. 124 miles an hour. 1914? Okay, and I think I'll go into which car. How? No one look at the screen how again. How did they track well, here, well, you, can, you can look now. Let's <laughs> yeah, see. Yeah. Like, hey, who's tracking <laughs> this? <laughs> it's just like some Valid. guy at the saloon. It's just like I did 124 miles an hour. Today. Okay, but it gets it gets so how much are worse. You still in one I don't, piece. <laughs> I don't have a picture of that car. But then the next milestone. No one look. No one look. The next milestone was set in 1935. Okay. What do you think? 1935. That's 20 years after 124 was set. They what didn't you, break 200 miles an hour by 19. Wait, well, whatever. throw a number on it. 147. 147. 165. They broke the 300 mile an hour what? barrier right, in yeah. 1935. No, 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 no. 100%. This is just the dude in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I did 300. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, no shot. So literally this a company recently did that. I <laughs> called out because of the internet. <laughs> they, of course, could do that back then. It was this. What? Wait, that what year? This car in 1935 went Am 300 I? miles per hour. I feel like I'm looking at a different alternate universe yeah. right now. Am I dumb? Did I, I like? <laughs> I don't know. They could paint like that in that year. <laughs> I didn't like. Know you know what I mean? Cars existed. Well, that's why okay. I said. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> He's like, hey guy. <laughs> <laughs> so this thing, what the it heck? Was called the V12, really the Campbell Rolls Royce. Ral something Bluebird V12. They made fun names back in the day. Huh? 301.129 miles per hour. What? First person to break, break that. Yeah, at Salt Flats. Okay, Sir Malcolm Campbell. He deserves the Sir title. Yeah, for sure. dude. Also, 35. it was an open cockpit, which is nuts. So anyway, this looks like a speed racer car. Yeah. yeah. So then, what, so yeah, go ahead. Ask give, me, give me an under the hood there, because it looks like mid engine. No clue. It's a V12. It's Rolls Royce. Must have been that, one of their big Rolls Royce the, engines. That's the like exhaust port. Yes, that is the exhaust port sticking out there. out there. Yes. So he was probably kept pretty cozy and warm. Dude, the quality of this With thing no looks cockpit. awesome. It looks beautiful. I'm shocked. Look at the tires too. Like, yeah. Yeah. They're like we don't really want to make. They don't. We don't want to make tread yet. <laughs> it's literally like tubes. Well, I think I think that's kind of a strategic no drag directional. Well, thing right. You for got less. Track. You got less. Uh, uh, contact patch, you know, because it's a rounded yeah, thing. I bet you got some nice drifties coming out of this, though. <laughs> Dude, I want to hear this. Okay, so it gets worse. No one look at the screen. It gets worse? Uh, worse, worse, but better. So then in 1963, they broke the 400 mile an hour limit. What? With this thing. Okay, so it's a jet with yeah, wheels. Yeah, we're getting to jets That's now. like a fighter jet with wheels. Yeah, that is a jet. I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> this, more impressive. Yeah, that's a, yeah. That was yeah. more. That's okay. a car at least. So then, so in the '60s, they're already there. So they have all their records listed out here of everything How, else that they hit. Uh, which I don't know what the current. So then, like they're show, like 536 miles an hour in '64, 555 in '65. These are all jet cars. 600 though. 622 in '70s. One 175. What is this in a battery car? They broke oh, the 200 first over 200 miles an hour in an electric car in the '90s. Whoa, wait, look the at that. Lightning Go back a sec. Yeah. So the battery box, that's yep. what, is that the name of the car? Yep. In 74, 74. they broke 175 miles an hour in, the, in an electric car out yeah. there. That's so weird. It just that's seems crazy. like that stuff is such a new thing. I knew, like, I'd heard that they were, like, hybrid electric type stuff back right. then. Right. 
That is crazy, Man, though. So, yeah, then if we keep going here, so then they broke the 200 mile an hour. Wow. Uh, white lightning, another electric guitar, guitar, car, <laughs> 245 miles an hour. Oh, white lightning. White lightning. White lightning. Here. I think I, didn't that guy, uh, oh, is that what? what it looks like? It's a torpedo. It's not even white. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's maybe it's the driver. <laughs> maybe it's the driver. It was white, then it joined the Red Hat Club. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> um, Moving on. What's what the, got? What's the Terminator? <laughs> that sound, yeah, the names got better as Where's the years went the on. Terminator 458 <laughs> set new mark for wheel driven vehicles powered by turbine engine. What? I can I say something? <laughs> it's just him. He looks like somebody who would drive a wheel drive. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just he's actually twenty seven like years old. It's just when you go that fast, you, you go through seen time. The clip of the it's like a hunt. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Marty McFly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we must go back. The, you're talking about your set your section next now. Yep. Because we just this is perfect. <laughs> Zach's like, oh yeah, hundred percent. Right, we're going into it. Um, but anyway, so yeah, one that was the two things I wanted to hit with this. They there was some historic stuff in our notes too. Um. Yeah, uniting 350 racing teams, pushing their supercharged experimental vehicles to limit well beyond 500 miles per hour. Um, and then they had the history of the event thing. So I anyway, like this is the this is the event that set auto insurance into place because <laughs> they're just like, yeah, bring whatever. See how fast yeah. you can go. Yeah, yeah. Like, isn't it awesome? <laughs> like just a bunch of guys just sitting out there. Have you seen the one? It's like a Honda something. It's it's like a slick back. Kind of looks like a Prius, but I think it's their Prelude or whatever. It's, yeah, I forget what it is. But it's got like wheel covers and stuff, and it's going like ridiculously fast. And then it just is like. And then just starts rolling like there's no tomorrow. And they because they all have cage and everything like that. And the yeah. cage just like gets out. It's well, I was gonna but say like it's terrifying. Th there's so much space there. Yeah. That that it left the room literally for yeah. this stuff. Because like you know whenever you, you have twelve miles straight. Well, just, whenever you have so much room to be that reckless. Oh yeah. Like I think of like I don't know even on like a big trampoline all those crazy jumps and stuff we used to do like you'd never yes. do that on like a yeah more, that's a good point like you would never do the stuff that we did on yeah. trampolines and people have done on trampolines yeah. like the crazy tricks and jumps and dumb yeah. stuff yeah like you would never do if you like if your introduction to that was like going to a park and they're like here are the rules don't do blah 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 and right. you, know, you kind of stick to doing yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. it's mm -hmm. like the same deal here like they had enough space to be reckless <laughs> yeah and and the time too yeah to be like well they're like developing um, jet engines like, at that point they're like we like, put that on we, some wheels. like what? What if we just take the wings off this? Yeah, <laughs> literally. Go yeah, when way. you get to this, it's like, what if we just and uh, put and some wheels on that? It feels so big too. It crashes probably didn't feel that risky because it's so flat. Right. Like we well, probably just. I mean, if you crash, you Eject just slide. Cuz. <laughs> yeah. Just, well, yeah. You got literally with the jet. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know, like that's a nice added bonus. <laughs> yeah. Right. But anyway, so wow, I had no clue. That's crazy. I knew that was around for a while. I didn't know back to 1912, and I didn't know they broke the 300 mile an hour barrier in the yeah. 1930s. I didn't know that was 100 years ago. We hit 300. Yeah. That, yeah. So in a car, and like in a car too. Yeah. Because it's like it's like Rolls Royce from the 30s is like they see like Kenneth Sag and all these guys like oh we can go 271 and they're like hold my beer. Yeah. <laughs> like we've, we've been, been doing that for 100, plus for 100 years. years. Yeah. They're they're over there that's with crazy. the ghosts and everything. They're like. You guys still doing that speed thing? That's <laughs> interesting. <laughs> yeah, right. But best anyway, so the to bring it back to Casey, thank you for sharing your build with us, sharing that this caused us to go down the rabbit hole of the salt flats, but just for your service to being a firefighter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's very humbling knowing that we're being listened to by guys like doing important stuff. And he's yeah. going next year is the plan? Yeah, next year's the plan, which that's our plan now too. Yeah, let's yeah. get there. Um, but I'll also, bring the Audi out there see how fast I can go. I yeah. think I could do the 150 Club pretty easily in my car. Yeah, I, I think so. Mark could do it. I would hope in 12 miles you can do it. Your mark <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you also 130 and yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you didn't. 130 kilometers an hour in Mexico sometimes. Oh yeah, so that's right. The <laughs> um, the, he had mentioned too that he had ordered a "This is my garage" shirt. He's going to send a picture, and that just made us think too. We've had a lot of those, and a lot of the other merch stuff sell. Guys, mm -hmm. if you guys have bought a shirt, send us a picture. We want to put yeah. it up on our site. We don't want just pictures of the stuff as is. We want to see how you guys are wearing it. Remind everybody so, the warranty on that shirt. Oh yeah, it's uh, unlimited. If you break it, if if you break it, we'll get you a new one. Um, you just have to tell a story and send it to us. That's yeah. the only thing. So that's why we want to see the pictures. Like we want to yes. see pictures in action. You guys using yeah. this stuff, wearing it, working on stuff. Yes. Like if you destroy the shirt, change the stuff out, and it gets ripped off or like yeah. well, damage it, beyond rip, damage beyond wear, which yeah. is also kind of like kind of wear that as badge of honor, right? right. Of like right. that's it's why we made it white. You. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And and for those who maybe don't know, because we've had like a lot of growth in the last like three four weeks, like mm -hmm. we have so. Third Pedal Podcast, we're brothers. ThirdPedalPodcast.com, we sell, we've got a few different shirts and like our whole thing with shirts is we just wanted to make like your new favorite shirt that happened to be like car themed yeah. and everything. But one of them specifically that we're proud of is that this is my garage shirt. It's a purely white shirt 
that's intentionally designed to get dirty. Um, but the thing with it too is it's going to get dirty. We want you to go wear it in the garage, rip it yeah. up, get transmission fluid, all that stuff all over it. That's if like it the whole meme get, of it is because it's like, point. this is my garage shirt and it's white. It's like, right. oh, why would so you wear like a white you, shirt in the garage? Yeah. And it's yeah. like when you go to the parts store, like everybody's like worked on your car, you break a bolt, you're like, oh, I got to go back to the store. So you go mm -hmm. back in and you're all dirty from the project. This just, it labels it right out there. Like, this is why I'm dirty right now. Give me the bolt. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So that that's kind of the point of it. But that's kind of our added thing too is if you jack, like we want you to wear it so much that if you jack it up and it gets torn, whatever send it to us we'll send you a new one it's the only shirt designed to get dirty for the car community and it's lifetime warranted so we want to eventually have them up behind us of all yeah, the that's terrible the things you gotta Just send please it please don't send it all bloody and stuff if it gets if you like hurt yourself mm. badly unless it's a make it or break it video no maybe. i think here's the deal i'm gonna draw the line right here at, at <laughs> bodily fluids yep mm. <laughs> fair <laughs> yeah if it's that bad we'll send out like one of those shirt frames to get it encased <laughs> first just to case it and then ship it. <laughs> but no, send it. We want to do a, a yeah. wall of fame yeah. of uh, the shirts. And yes. You know, sign it, date it, that type of stuff yeah. too. But yeah. anybody else who's purchased stuff, just send us like a selfie of you with it, with your car or something like that. We mm -hmm. want, we would rather, we'd rather have pictures of you guys with it, with your cars and everything. Be able to show that off. We'll throw your, if you have an Instagram handle, something you want us to tag, like send that to us yeah. too. Yeah, we'll throw it sure. in there. But yep. you get a um, shout out on our website. I mean, tons of people 100%. go to. Um, Jake's awesome with the uh, marketing design, that type of stuff. So like mm -hmm. the third pedal podcast.com is like your one-stop shop for everything that we yeah. do. Any podcast, anything that we sell, yeah. anywhere that we are, all socials and all that stuff is yeah. all in that one place. So yeah. you could have, you know, a chance to have your socials also kind of shouted out yeah. in that place too. And that's where all of our traffic yeah. goes to. Well, so. and, and we'd like to do that because like we want, it's nothing about us, like people finding only our handle. Like we're just mm -hmm. trying, like, like Casey said in his message, like we're just trying to start like a digital car club pretty much. Yep. So yeah. like, the more that we can shout you guys out. And like, we've got like one guy specifically, he's got a sticker on, he's got a mini Cooper. I think it's, his yes. tag is like kind of cool mini or something like yeah, that. Yeah. That <laughs> stands out to me. Yeah. But he's, he like likes and comments on everything that we do. But like that kind of thing, like if there's other mini people that are following us and see our stuff, we would love to have his thing in there. So people are like, oh, hey, cool. This is like another mini guy in here and everybody can whatever, everybody can network up. Yep. So, I mean, that's all, that's all we're kind of shooting to do. But, um, but yeah, so send your stuff in. Um, use that third pedal podcast at gmail.com. Um, send in whatever we've got a couple make it or break it's we're gonna hit next week from that too but mm -hmm. um, but yeah it's awesome so thank you guys for listening along with thank you for everybody who's new and like Zach said that's the, that's the hub like I don't know where you guys found us from we have social media is weird and stuff just blows up for random reasons everywhere <laughs> in different ways yeah. so like something will do great one place and horrible somewhere else but that being said like people have discovered us from different avenues so like go to thirdpilepodcast.com and you can find us on the platform of your choice from there yep. pretty much but that's all that's that. And but on our segue thing. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Yeah. Oh yeah. Please subscribe <laughs> to us on YouTube. We're doing a we're doing a push to get YouTube up right now. YouTube seems to be the best pla best platform for us to yeah. kind of grow as yep. far as like being able to continue doing yep. cool stuff oh. for the show. Yeah. And we just launched a new series on YouTube. Unless oh. you're about to say oh, that. Yeah. I was we not. Just, it's yeah, gonna be right here. Bing. Right here? Or there. Here, let's everybody's got hold. It's kinda heavy. Ready? <laughs> Hold the side of it. This uh, is stabilize it. Oh, sorry. Rip it. Rip it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> so we launched a new series. It's called Backroads. Uh, uh, we just wanted to take, instead of just doing like a weekly episode, we we'll do like a deeper dive into like one mm -hmm. thing that's a little bit more like a, I don't know, standalone piece, something that car community has been looking forward to. So our first episode was about the Hoonatron from Ken Block and the Electricana event. Yeah. So we did a deep dive. We watch it. Fun. We don't show it on the channel. You got to go support them on their channel to, to see it. Uh, it's in the we description record, you linked yeah, it though. It's in, yeah, yeah, right in the description. If you Click go to our YouTube channel, you can watch the beginning. We talk a little bit about setting it up and then pause, watch the video, come back and we'll break down our favorite moments of it. Um, but it's a little bit more like a night show kind of from us where it's yeah. a little bit more casual. Um, I, I don't well, know how sometimes stuff comes up like that, for example, that yeah. came up like it was released on Tuesday. Yeah. And like the way that we record stuff, we schedule stuff out, blah, 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 mm -hmm. behind the scenes mm -hmm. type of stuff. So like if we... Had it as a regular more part. BTS for this episode. More, this, this episode's <laughs> called BTS. BTS with the guys. Um, <laughs> the guys. <laughs> it wouldn't come out for probably three weeks or whatever, yeah. you yeah. know, and we kind of missed the whole excitement of everybody else. Like yeah. the fun part about it was that we got so geeked out about was yeah. like, we were discussing, I don't think it's an episode, but we were discussing like, all right, logistically, how do we do this? Because like, yeah. you can't just show someone else's content. Right. So yeah. Like we're reacting to it. We're talking about it. Right. And more, more than that, we were all watching it for the first time mm -hmm. and we stopped and we're like, all right, whatever. Like, obviously we want to put it out to you guys too, right. but like more, more than anything, we just want to watch this together <laughs> yeah. for the first time. Yeah. That's yeah. what we've always done for all these yes. Gymkhanas and all yes. that stuff. Yes. Like we just want to, as brothers sit, watch this, react to it, talk about the crazy yes. stuff, go back and like yes. look at the craziest things. Yeah. So anyways. 
so yeah we brought you guys into that but uh but yeah go check that out that's on our youtube channel we're posting more stuff like that so that's going to be like obviously wherever you're listening to the podcast great weekly thing but like there's going to be more content being posted there and then we tease that out on tiktok and everything too so you can find it there but you get the fun like super short stuff if you're like i don't know which episode i want to watch we got 38 yep no like i don't know which one i want to watch scroll i think tiktok is probably the easiest to go through or i mean you can go through youtube shorts and stuff too yeah yeah go through and just be like if there's a moment that you love about it. Most of the time, at least lately, we've been putting what episode it's from. Yep. So if you're like, that story sounds super interesting. I want to listen to the full yep. format. You can find that episode on yep. there. Mm-hmm. Or comment on it. We'll tell you or just email us or I don't know what yeah. you want to do. So anyways, <laughs> Salt Flats. What reminded me of the electric car? Was it? The Marty McFly that we saw. Marty McFly, we said, okay, this, so that reminded me of... This guy. The time travel dude? Yeah, okay, yeah. That's what I said. Can we go, go, back to this picture. go back to his picture? Go back to his picture. Okay. Notice that we're not recording this at all, so I'll have oh, to okay, this we're good. In, but that's oh, fine. <laughs> okay, okay. So Don uh, Vesco here, he's actually only 27 years old, but because the car went so fast, <laughs> it aged him. I just want to say that joke more clearly again. He traveled through time. So that reminded me of um, the, the DeLorean, okay. iconic car, Okay. Mm-hmm. right? Like everybody has their own first moment with the DeLorean when they first saw it, whether it was the Back to the Future movies or at a car show. Yeah. And mm-hmm. like just the whole concept. Yeah, and you're of like, it, what the heck? Like, like, why is this Boeing, stainless steel car here? Rear engine. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. rear engine, right? Yeah, yeah. Rear engine. Rear rear engine GM V6. Yeah, and then weird. all stainless steel, like unfinished body. Mm-hmm. You know, it's mm-hmm. not like painted or like. Yeah, that was the first thing I ever had seen like that. Yep. Mm-hmm. Crazy, crazy car. Yep. Um. So, ultimately, it wasn't that quick. It wasn't that great. It was terribly unreliable. Yeah. They just didn't really continue it. Right. right. So right. more recently, um, a new company has bought out the DeLorean name and they're remaking some of the cars essentially. And it's all EVs now, which of cars <laughs> being remade that are being remade as electric vehicles. Yeah. The DeLorean makes the most sense. Agreed. Totally. Like, totally agreed. Agreed. 100%. Yeah. like some of the older car, like the we've talked about it with the, the um, Ford Lightning. Yeah. Like that was <laughs> a high horsepower. Really. Yeah. 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 That's electric. That's like, eh, that's kind of a bummer. Yeah. And there's some, what's the other recent one? Is there another recent one that was like, they re- the, well, oh, I mean, the Mustang, Mustang, I guess. Must- yeah, the, the, new, the new Charger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meow. Um, Meow. <laughs> so this uh, one makes sense. So yeah, I agree. If there is going to be a car that they're going to bring back as an electric car, make it the one that yeah. was trying to do weird electric stuff right. from the beginning. Yeah. So let me show you. Totally so agree. Um, there's two parts to this. So the okay. DeLorean Alpha 5 Coupe is a new okay. one that they're making. Uh, sticking with the Gullwing Ooh. doors. I forgot how cool Gullwing doors are. Yep. Like you got the Lambo doors, right? And those are yep. almost a little bit gimmicky now because yep. of people putting them on everything. <laughs> mm-hmm. Can um, I cut in a really quick video of why those are gimmicky? It's very, very fast. Spinning, <laughs> <laughs> dude, come on. Oh my <laughs> god. Sounds... <laughs> anyway, sorry. I knew that wasn't going to fit to make it or break it anytime soon, but I just wanted to show it for Disney a second. Disney World over <laughs> yeah, here. That's awesome. So that's anyway. hilarious. No more Lambo doors because of that. <laughs> <laughs> so there's 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 uh Lambo doors, there's yeah. suicide doors, there's yep. going doors, yep. there's uh Kenick Sig's amazing twisty doors. Yeah, those are sick. I don't know what those are. I don't yeah, think those. those yeah, yeah, they're like out and then yeah. up yeah. Like that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the coolest. Is that it? That's all the cool types of doors, I think. And then door doors. Did you say no, door doors? Yeah. No, no. Don't, well, don't, don't forget minivan them. sliding doors either. They're um, cargo doors. Gullwing doors, I think, are the coolest. Like, they, they haven't been gimmicked up at all yep. in any way. Because even That's true. They've been kind of protected. Even it was like Mercedes doors, had their like, thing. You could get the different hinges. Yeah. You'd be like, oh, my Chrysler 300 opens. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> you know, if it's backwards now. <laughs> yeah. And you lose them on the highway. Yeah. <laughs> the the Gullwings haven't really been that way. So they still look sick. And the, the Also, goal- that car looks beautiful. It, we'll get into it. <laughs> the, the most iconic, I think, going doors. Sorry to make this rant about the types of doors, people, but this is kind of <laughs> what I do. Um, the most iconic, I think, is that Mercedes yeah. SL something yeah. coupe, the yep. Gullwing coupe. Yep. Mm, especially oh. like the first, yeah, first well, gen of it. And they like kept it on the new one too, didn't they? Yeah. That's oh, yeah. So cool. It looks so good. Yeah. So, uh, DeLorean okay. Alpha Five. Uh, it is more than it's supposed to be more than a photo. There you go. There, there you go. it is. Whoa. Okay. Okay. So. All electric. This is, I believe it's still concept. I don't believe they're like making, making this yet. <laughs> look how wide the door is. And like, just the look of it all. Like it has McLaren-esque looks on the rear. That's beautiful. One of my favorite details. It kind of looks details. like the Genesis Speedium it's concept. It's got tail lights. My Dude. favorite detail is that the light up on the doors here. That looks it's awesome. It's on the front too. I don't know if you noticed that. That's before. a beautiful rear. That's, wow. that looks, wow. Mm-hmm. I was, actually, wow. I was going to say, 
from the very first Glass photo, roof. I was like, oh no, I don't like this. This like, the I, lines think, I did not think the first photo looked good at all. It kind of looks like the new NSX a but little bit. But now seeing it, bit, yeah, yeah, now seeing it like this angle is and these perfect. lines, wow. these lines continue to here and then That's back. Cool. It's oh. almost got like uh indie car type of lines as far as like with this swooping yeah. down and then the wheel arches. Yeah. And this long body like it's okay, interesting to see rear people door looks like Aston. Yeah, yeah. Right. And like it's got all these different aspects of this, cars yeah. that are really cool. Yeah. It's cool to see people with electric cars because they don't need to have the whole radiator array in the front yeah. anymore. They're starting to use it for arrow to like bring the whole yeah. draw. That it's was cool the thing in the Hoonatron too. They did yeah. the same thing with the whole draw through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the lights on the front here too. That's sharp. That's I was wondering really if those were cool lighter. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. So, it doesn't look like a DeLorean at all. I don't know if people are gonna get hurt open. about that. About the fact that it doesn't really feel like a DeLorean. I wonder if it's smaller than we think it is. So you're, hint you're hinting a little bit, which I like. We'll get there. Oh boy. Okay. So it's okay. a four seater. So you got access to. That's why these okay. doors are so oh, long. It is a four seater. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So it's just two doors, but it's okay. a four seater. You know, and you got easy access. It's not like you gotta. You don't have to go like. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cool. And move this. Yeah, you know, in like a regular coupe would be. Could you imagine getting <laughs> something like this? Hey, give it back. <laughs> it's like this is the sound. And of, then it's stuck, thing. and they're like, Ugh. you know, yeah. the spring <laughs> thing. Yeah. I'd be so scared to do that in such an expensive car. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I never thought about that. I wonder how yeah. that feels. <laughs> To slide the seat up Probably like that. Great. It's yeah. probably electric. That so looks so good. Active air. See this? The Ooh. fins open up back here too. Wow. And then the spoiler. Okay. Good yeah. job. So sick looking car. Uh, so this is obviously not the same guy. Yeah. Uh, I believe his name was John. Yeah. DeLorean. John C. DeLorean. <laughs> is it? <laughs> 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 the most generic name. Uh, don't, don't read it. Yeah. John. John Z. DeLorean. John Z. That was the original creator of the DeLorean. Okay. Um, I'm going to just open this link again because I... I deleted it. Um, so, anyways, okay. cool car, cool EV concept. Yep. Right. They have several different iterations of different models. Yeah. That okay. they're remaking. Okay. It's sort of new that they're the making same, these again. So somebody bought the name. And well, then, bought the trademark. But and, it's the same company, the like pitching these different DeLorean models that are coming out. Or yeah. Whatever. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. The, the okay. DeLorean Motor Company is still. Gotcha. Uh, the same company essentially just kind of. I don't know if it technically died. I don't think they made anything after the DMC12, that original one. Yeah, I don't think so either. And then now they. Now it's like someone's like, well, I want to bring this back. Okay. I mean, if you're thinking of like, okay, we want to start a new EV. Yeah. Like you think of like Lucid Motors. Yeah. And like some of these other companies that are starting yeah, as Rivian brand new companies. Yeah. yeah. Like to buy a name that has so much clout already. That's true. And so much memory and oh, so gosh, much with love. the movies and everything. Yeah. Too. So they get to. That's cool. That's a super, super smart move. So anyways, yeah. um, DeLorean is not like that family isn't gone. Yeah. So Kat DeLorean is actually John's daughter. Oh, okay. She was uh, not too happy about the purchase <laughs> okay. of the company of the of the rights and sure, everything. Sure, sure. And um, doesn't think that the models are doing justice to okay. the original. Okay. So oh. she is currently in des designing and making a remake of the original DMC twelve. No as way. As a new, also an EV. No so way. So she's got designers working on it. They actually have a concept. Out. Okay. What? Ready to see this? Yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say I'm, I'm curious if this is gonna look anything like. I just realized. I think that said the that thought. um the Hyundai that we looked yeah. at forever ago the concept actually kind of looks like a new DeLorean doesn't look like that. But oh, that's oh. Idea. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe it's hey cat. It looks way cooler. <laughs> Ooh. So it's the model JZD after her dad, and this is the new concept oh. for the DeLorean. Am I bad for thinking they look very, very similar? They do look similar. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay. They Looks do look like a little bit similar. But the hips are right on this one though. The lines, this line is perfect. Yep. The go wings are right. Oh, dude, even it down to like the angle down the full on the outside. LED oh. bar straight across the slants down. You'll see a couple different angles. The wide hips. Yep, the wider stance is definitely just more how like that's sharp. how sick does that look? If is that, that the coolest thing? Actually looking? gets made. Wow. Look at that. It's yeah. very wide. Is it a two seater or four seater? Uh, I believe it's a four seater as well. Is that the LED bar that goes all the way around? This, I I think so. Whoa! I think it is. I think it looks like that connects like all the this, way. Like this. That's pretty cool. This is this whole. I don't know if it's the angle that it's slanted at, but looks just like the original. Well, it's got the consistent thing. The slant. The cyber down. truck looks like a remake of the like the side profile. And guess what? Is wow! It's hot. Stainless steel, like same finish. Really? Brushed stainless is okay. how they're gonna do it. All right. Love it. Same type of wheels, even sort of design. Even like the way the front wheel arch interacts with, yeah. oh, dude, even the rear end of it. Yeah. I don't know how looks... I feel about the light bar going all the way around. Oh, Look at that. That's sweet. That's, that that's shot cool. next to it, like we'll paste it in the video. That shot and like that's an iconic shot yes. of the original yep. uh, DeLorean. Yep. 
with the they wing even, up. Even with the whole big, like, f- I'm kind of wondering what they're using it for other than just big aero stuff. But in the rear, the big air dam in the back. Yeah. That kind of looks like even like the Back to the Future version of the mm-hmm. DeLorean. It kind of mm-hmm. has that feel. From the outside, if, they, if they're going to c- carry that through, I'm curious if they would, the interior of a DeLorean was really weird too. So I wonder if they're going to bring in any of those aspects and things. Yeah, we don't have it. a keyboard on here, do we? No, it's fine. We don't okay, have to get into it. That's cool. That's interesting anyways, though. So pretty cool that the, um, like I didn't, I never have thought about DeLorean being yeah. remade. Yeah. I never like uh, of all these cars and yeah. remakes and stuff that are happening, I never even really thought about it. So I just happened to come across DeLorean Alpha 5 Coupe. Interesting. Like the actual company DeLorean. Yeah. I forget how exactly she's getting around. I think it might just be called the model JZD. So she's not doing it with this company? No. She's like, oh, you guys messed it up. I'm going to do my own thing now. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't want, uh, I don't know, 100%. Okay. Like, I don't, I don't believe it's together. You don't believe it's like a joint effort Mm-mm. kind of a thing? No, because it's not, I don't believe it carries the. I mean, that's kind of cool for her because that's what her dad did. So like. Yeah, if she's gonna run off and do her kind of own thing, it's kind of a bummer. I wish that they would. It would be cool if they could just partner up if they'd buy the rights to the look, or they would, you know, purchase purchase that direction and bring in some of the. It's very influence. possible that she is working with the company because this is how they have it written on their Alpha Five mm. DeLorean like this. That's true. So it's very. I they may they do look very similar. It would too. make sense for them to do it together. So car. I might be. That's insane. I don't have all the details. I was trying to find. It's hard yeah. to find all the yeah. details of like well, exactly how it's all happening. At this point, yeah, right? it's all pretty yeah. early. So I believe um, end of next year, end of okay. 2023, there the plans are to have a working concept vehicle. Cool. Of this. Cool. Which is tough. It's like it's a brand new thing. It would make sense to do it with the Lauren Motor Company, right. who is like has the if they already have a base, kind of like, like how Tesla was like, we want to make an SUV. Let's mm-hmm. just use the Model S, taller. Yes. yes. For now, that type of thing. So that's anyways, cool, man. Cool that it's coming back. I think Very if cool. concept. Like we're always disappointed from concept to actual, like real Instagram Except versus lately. real life type of deal <laughs> yeah. with some of that stuff. Yeah. Um. If that if that concept is is real, yeah. And that's really what's produced. Yeah. That's sick looking car. I, th- yeah. I think it might be because it seems like electric cars have more um ability. Yeah. To do that, like yeah. when you manufacture an electric car, because it's like you got to fit the battery. You got to fit the motors too. Right. Those are a little bit smaller right. than an internal combustion right. engine. They have more room to change. Things. And you can put batteries in different spots. Right. You know, right. you can kind of do that with gas tanks, sort of. Yeah. Sort of did it with gas bladders and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Kind of limited on like radiator placements, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Like, you have certain have, things you need. Yeah. So. Like all of this can be in the rear if they yeah, want it to. That's true. You know, that is cool, man. So pretty cool. Um, I can jump right into the next thing if we want to. I was going to say, let's run to Tyler's thing yeah, yeah. and then let's save that for the next week's episode because cool, cool, cool. I kind of went long on the first half. Yeah. But. Also though, if um, <laughs> you're Tyler. Tyler. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get into that just super quick on the DeLorean yeah. um, cat. If you need someone to test it oh, and yeah. review the car, we could. Oh, man. We'd be happy to help you out. We'll sit in that thing. Yeah. We'll never talk bad about an electric vehicle again. Not that we ever have. Ever. 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 So. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> No, if it's at if it's at uh SEMA next year, if it's at any shows oh, yeah. uh in the next year, I mean we're planning to start being at more events and stuff yes. like that. I'm sure we're running into it. Gotta uh, I hope it. that we can see this thing in person. If we get to drive it in the next year still, so we'll do a review yes. for yeah. sure. Yes, so, absolutely. All right. Mouse me. Mouse me. That was smooth, dude. Smooth. Okay. Good job. So, so um, read your title, please. <laughs> yeah. So my title is Cadillac. What you doing? <laughs> <laughs> um and I, i'm gonna i'm gonna steal a segment a little bit and rename it so we're basically this is gonna basically be good ev bad ev <laughs> yeah like bad it. timing that's yeah, yeah. <laughs> um but yeah, we don't talk timing. bad about evs also yeah. <laughs> oh yeah so, slam <laughs> so, here's a new segment so i want, I want you guys first to look at the taillights Okay, I already saw them and I hate them. Why? 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 Cadillac Why? needs to calm itself down. Yeah. <laughs> this is like the meme of BMW with the kidney grills now for the taillights of a Cadillac. Yeah. What is happening? I know. They already split the headlights at the front. Yeah. And they yeah. Like, Do you go through the whole entire grill, you know? The taillights like, aren't even in the back. They're just on the side. <laughs> it's like the back profile is just like... Like yeah. <laughs> so this is this whole article has been throwing me off because like it's the, a three hundred thousand dollar the name hand built flagship EV. So this is their thing, like the twenty twenty four this. So okay, um, and <laughs> a lot of its style choices. I'm like, ooh, this does this isn't it. This ain't it, Chief. The so most does the front extravagant end save it? and expensive model the brand has ever built. Yep. 
Wow. Yeah, so it's got 600 horsepower. Is okay. it physically impossible for any electric car to go over 300 miles? Because 300 mile range is all I ever see. I think it's a I think it's probably issue. standard battery issue. But yeah. no, like this is 600 horsepower. Yep. But yeah. could they have not cut it to cut the power to be more efficient and yeah. gotten 600 miles? I know oh, that's not saying, exactly how it it's working. You know well, what I mean? I think they kind of target that because that is kind of average. Like 300 mile range is kind of like a normal car thing. Oh, is yeah. that like that's what the market is calling yeah. for? Because yep. I think if you were like, oh, this car can go 2,000 miles, but it's like giant has huge batteries and super heavy. Right. Like then right. you'd be limited on like what roads you can go on and like all this other stuff. It probably is more so, of a weight thing yeah. too, right? Yeah, a lot of it. These, okay. Well, and if you get above Makes a certain sense. weight, it's less efficient then. So Yeah, that's true. I'm sure it's that. I think it's kind of a market demand thing though. Yeah, but Maybe. the base model is going to start at over 300,000. <laughs> um, that's mm-hmm. hefty. <laughs> the front end looks pretty good. Oh. Um, although, a little bit again, of like grill. a Cadillac. <laughs> I mean, it looks like a Cadillac. It looks like an EV Cadillac cool. grill with the full yeah. bar going straight across. It's also yeah. kind of strange because from the front, this looks like a sedan. It, like you, kinda well, you it looks like an El Camino from the front. It looks like it has a truck yeah. back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's a um, pre- that's a model we haven't seen yet. A uh, uh, EV. What are those called? Ute. Like that'd a be new interesting. I'm sure those, Ute. Yeah. I'm maybe Australia. Oh, that's like, interesting. Hey, we go. But um, <laughs> the inter- this is no. Where they're it, just they're just over there like. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> still yeah. supercharged. That so might be something I need um, to bring up on another episode. Okay. Thank you for that. The I'm wondering when it gets to the interior. That is a pretty good looking front end, though. That's kind of like what you expect. Yeah. Like so this like part a, looks nice. This is like the center yep. console, but the good rest treatment. of the interior is a mess. Oh, is that why they chose the craft photo? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. It's just blue. Purple rain. Why purple is that rain. a whole <laughs> LED? I was thinking, I'm blue. I'm pretty I'm sure, yeah. So I think this is better. a <laughs> one screen purple, it? across yeah. the whole thing. Interesting. But it's just the, like, this is. And then a screen in the middle. That's yeah. kind of, I don't know. It looks like the new Grand Wagoneer. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. My my uh, biggest gripe is just the color. Yeah. I think just, this blue is a terrible blue. It's a lot. It's, mm-hmm. yeah, it's way too much. And it's everywhere. Wow. Um, that, it looks oh. way better in this color. That looks almost RS6-ish. Yeah. But I'm not go... mad about the fact that it's sort of a wagon. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's kind of yeah, cool. Yeah, so I think that part's cool. I think they're doing it for aerodynamics. They're just trying to get rid of that turbulence but in the back end. The, they, the this rear just light looks treatment. brutal. It looks so angle. bad. Well, it's like, so, like, uh, is there a our, straight back shot? Like, straight back Yeah, that back would be end? interesting to find. See if you can find one of those. Like, with our sport wagons, when we had, when I had the Jetta and you've got it now, Tyler, mm. like, Volkswagen changed from doing little lights to then they started migrating it in on the trunk. And the same with Audi. Audi used to do the little lights and they migrated it on the trunk. That just seems like such a nicer look shot. to go mm-hmm. across the back and like, right. like treat the whole back end of the car. It's weird that they're like, it's weird they're doing they're it doing just it. on the edges. Yeah, and then they kind of like keep migrating it further out just to because that the profile from the back of that whole side light thing. Oh, it's gotta be weird. Go back to the badge where it says hand built. Okay, so I kind of get it because this really isn't a Cadillac. Mm. You know what I mean? No. It's Cadillac because... <laughs> you have no idea where no you're going. Like, this. this is literally it's, their flagship. Well, I, I know, but you know what I mean? Like, this is, this is like a Rolls Royce. Mm. This is like... They're oh, making like they're trying a, to get to a they're different... They're making a bespoke, hand-built, oh. luxury, super high-end. They're making like... Like, this is a Maybach. Pretty they're much. making them. They're doing that. It's oh, a yeah. Cadillac Maybach. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So that... I, I guess I could get see it why it's light. ugly now. Yeah. Because, like, that... that Swoopy rear end. Okay, cut it at the rear of the front wheels, right? If you look at Swoopy it that rear way. End, rear of the front It right looks here. like a Rolls Royce ghost or something like that. That oh, whole yeah. swooped yeah. tail end with the long coupe door and that type saying. of stuff. Yeah. So it makes sense. It looks very that. That's a weird. So do you think, I mean, it would make sense that hmm. Cadillac's trying to go there as a whole. It's just so weird. they're trying to elevate that luxury part of their brand, similar to what yeah. most companies are doing with you yeah. know, you used to be, I was talking to a friend about this yesterday, Toyota and Lexus used to be kind of the same. You'd get your Toyota Camry, you'd get your Lexus ES350 yeah. or whatever. Or you could even migrate parts between them. Right. Mm-hmm. They were yeah. basically the same thing. The Lexus just had a little bit more leather and was more brown, Yep. you know, yep. than the other. And now it's like the the Lexuses and the Toyotas are so different where the Lexus is so much right. higher as a luxury right. brand with like complete, completely different cars, right. you know? Yeah. And other, tons of other companies are doing that too. Yeah. So it makes sense in that respect. It just seems like most companies do it like that uh-huh. where it's like Toyota, Cadillac. But I guess that's kind of Chevy well, Cadillac and Cadillac is kind of that. Yeah, I was going to say, I bet. But, but like, the Chevy Cadillac have been so the same for so long. Yeah. It just seems and odd. I wonder, 
like I bet they're doing the same thing. It's just like the chassis. I mean, it's kind of weird teasing about the whole truck. Like trucks are weird because they're like Legos mm-hmm. or like RC cars. Mm-hmm. It's like they do the same. They add. They do ads for it in the GM commercials of showing they have the battery base and then they've got all the different the different bodies chassis stuff. stuff that goes on. Mm-hmm. And we even joked about it being like, yeah. you buy a new body for your thing or whatever. Right. Mm-hmm. But like it, it's got to just be the GM base because like 600 horsepower, it's a big number, but it's not much for an electric car. Like that's kind well, of how much this thing probably weighs. Yeah, and like it's it's, it's huge. It's got though. battery. It's got fast acceleration, obviously, because it's an electric car. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I wonder, it's just like that, and then they just go nuts with the crafting and styling of the body that's going yeah. over it. And but yeah, you're probably right that this is more of like an art statement piece, or it's more for like the people who actually care that this is like a hand built statement yeah. moment yeah. in history, kind of. A yeah, thing. and they it seems like uh, GM Chevy, you know, as a whole, kind of went that way. It seems like the uh, the C8 Corvette specifically the mm. z71 what's the high end sure. z50 or something don't know I don't whatever know. The, whatever the high revving the one that they copied ferrari for yeah the the new ferrari yeah that's like a hand-built engine hand, like right. they car- started kind of yeah. going more that mm-hmm. route yeah as people care about it a little bit yeah. more so it kind of makes sense that this is like another endeavor with that but yeah, true. but more towards the maybach or the rolls royce type of crowd because it's the same type of, i mean you're paying that much for a uh, rolls royce right right yeah, if you're gonna you know pay I mean? three hundred for a car, three hundred plus, yeah, yeah, and you'll get your own special color, your custom. You know, I can see their what. Go. Sorry, did you were you gonna read that out loud, Tyler? Or should I at the you bottom? So it features many carbon fiber body panels and a color palette with more than two hundred available hues. Oh. Missing your hmm. favorite shade, Cadillac will gladly color match it for you. Yeah, see, that's like the Rolls They're Royce going thing. Very yeah. Rolls Royce with this. That's thing. interesting. I get it. It's just it's hard because it feels like. It feels like it's like 50-50 or it's like the car hits and the car just super misses. Yeah, I'm totally with you. Yeah. And it, it's almost got Bugatti lines in the door there. You see that? It's got Sharon like oh, yeah. swoops. Like they're it's taking weird. Actually, yeah, I, think so that's a, weird. I think that's a render. That looks like oh, it's a you reflection. Oh, you think it's a reflection? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that looks like because of the Cause body panel swooping. Oh, no. It's, it's a body, body panel, panel yeah, swoop yeah. for sure, yeah. But it's, it's you know, they're pulling those. When they, I'm sure the design teams get together and they pay, maybe don't explicitly go, we want to make the front look like this, but they, they get like, what is, what, a, what about seeing a Rolls Royce makes you feel like yeah. luxury? Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's like, can we take the essence of that yeah. in the angle and the shapes of stuff and right. add that in different aspects right. to this car and make people feel the same thing? Yep. Mm-hmm. That's like 90% of selling anything anyways yeah. is how, yeah, how yeah. it makes people feel. Yeah. So that's really interesting to see that. And then that's why I said like the ugliness of those rear lights makes sense because so I was passed by a brand new Bentley uh, coupe the other day. Okay. I, I think it was a Continental GT coupe. Okay. Um, and, you know, Zip passed me and I was like, oh, God, that's cool. It's a Bentley. And then you look at it and you're like, you know, it's not that like <laughs> just a video game. They car. got the they're taillights, like, right. like real basic. Yep. L- they're LEDs. Yep. Taillights just kind of round, but like it's a Bentley. Right, you know, like yep. they, that's like the that's style what's cool about it. It's it's not all like because everything is so cut and like sharp. But then like then sure. n- right past me goes a you know a new Hyundai, and it's like and like yeah. LED and body lines that are yeah. all like yeah. sharp and everything. Like yeah. it kind of used to be the other way around, yeah. and it seems like it's switching a little bit. So that anyway, is interesting. It kind of makes sense that it looks like that. Yeah. I'd be very interested to see this thing in person. It's still got very Chevy wheels. Surprised they didn't do something a little bit different, mm-hmm. like a more multi-spoke type of system, like wheel setup. But yeah. it does follow the lines of the lights, yeah. And whatever. So I got it, dude. I love this good EV, bad EV. <laughs> That's where we're going for sure. Yeah. So the DeLorean's the good EV. Yeah. 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 Second DeLorean. The interior quality that looks insane, though. Yeah. Also, I don't like just the colors. Still, yeah. color choice is like that seat, yeah, like looks, seat so looks so comfy. Yeah. Something about that. I'm guessing it's like a. I'm sure leather or whatever. Or yeah. Like just the lined. Yeah. seat or whatever and, mm-hmm. and it kind of matches the the uh whole glass roof yep lines yep and, you know stuff like that i don't know so what is it called because i don't know how to say that celeste q celestique celeste celeste yeah probably. celeste IQ. well because they have their new um what is with these companies putting cues on the end i think oh, yeah. the ionic it seems everything? it seems electric it well seems they have futury. another oh, i can't the think of for some reason they have, cadillac yeah. has another the lyric with a q at the end yeah, L. What I don't know how to spell. I don't know Hold why I tried Jamie. to spell it. Wait, sorry. <laughs> we can't. <laughs> we don't have a keyboard. <laughs> Can you do that? We'll yeah, that yeah. Can yeah. Up here well, also, sorry, while you're doing a, that, yeah, keep I've got I'm one other EV. Okay, yeah. Oh, so okay. Do, it. do it. That's another one. That's a super miss. Um, and it's the worst way to bring back the Woody. Oh wait, no! What? So yeah, ready? So don't look at the screen. Yeah. Okay. 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 Just okay, wait okay, for me okay. to pull it up. I think it's going quick. So the Nissan Aria 
surf wagon. No. I kind of dig it. Wait, oh, this don't. isn't from Nissan, though, right? <laughs> okay, back. well, I'll say, I'll say, I dig the shape of the thing. I don't dig the woody factor of it. Yeah, so this I is kind of like the look of it, though. It's really confusing to me. Because yeah, so those this is going to be showed run. off at yeah, SEMA. What is with the wheels. Yeah, so that's this okay. is like their. So it's just their Nissan Aria, and then it's just wrapped. It's just vinyl wrapped. With it's the wood just stuff. vinyl wrapped. Why did they do two wood? Textures? And then they painted the wheels. Yeah, that's weird. Okay. They somehow the found. 20 inch steelies yeah which also makes me <laughs> yeah, upset because right. i've those looked are for steelies VW like this wheels forever yeah those look cool. those are vanigan wheels i mean that's that's yeah, the style yeah, that's 100 percent the style yeah why are they trying to borrow a volkswagen thing here i don't know i just that looks like a um a ford what are they called a yes, ford edge. Uh, edge yes a ford edge from the back oh, yeah God. totally the whole roof line and lights and everything yeah what is dude what the back looks unfinished doesn't it below the taillights yeah, that looks it does. Like, maybe it's just because it's wrapped all in that monotone. Oh, the article agrees. They're like, well, we'll admit this looks weird. <laughs> yeah, so it's just a very... Wow. Yeah, this is so, the thing I saw where I was like, oh. Like, Nissan didn't do this though, right? This isn't from Nissan. This is like someone going to Nissan it with said, this. It said they the commis- Aria EV concept that'll debut at the SEMA show. Back the question, what are we looking at? It said in here that they commissioned an artist to Nissan do this. Nissan wants the surf wagon to encourage yeah. all electric vehicle customization, which is great. Yeah, so I think oh, like their weird. mission behind it is cool. Okay. That is cool. But it's like this is I feel like this is the wrong way to go about it. Yeah, so they want people to they want to like get the enthusiasts into the car community. That's thing. a cool. I mean, that looks dumb, but <laughs> <laughs> it grabs attention. It does. Which is what they and then then for us to cuz we just They're like we just clicks did, a click baby. We just <laughs> we just went through the whole process that they want of yep. like that looks crazy, so we're looking at it yep. and it worked. Yeah, and then Dang it. oh, your message with doing this is so that you're encouraging you know car people to get into EVs and customize yeah. them any way we want. Yeah, that's kind of cool. They just got us through their whole. Yeah, their marketing guys are just like, like we're done. So that's kind of cool. I think it looks weird. I think they could have done more of like a motorsports type of deal, but I get that that is kind of overdone by everything at SEMA. Yeah, but well, making the- a not cool car. Yeah, have a thousand horsepower. Yeah, and be sick and have a yeah. Bluetooth drive shaft and all that. Honestly, stuff. the play there though would have been to do like baby blue for the sides, do a two tone mm-hmm. with a white mm-hmm. roof, and then put like the old Volkswagen inspired flowers or something down the side as part of the wrap, or do something like yes. hippie surfy kind of. Yeah, a I don't thing. know if the the wood the wood just looks strange. Yeah, and that they like stopped yeah. it here. Yeah. yeah, like right on that and front like, bumper line. It like wraps around the taillights in yeah. the back. I think the wheels, like those are very classic car, white walled. Yeah. I think there's a modern way to do that that yeah. isn't perfectly smooth. Yeah. Like even like some Agreed. parts, like have you seen those? Okay, there's two types of wheels I'll mention. There's, okay. uh, I think it was Rotiform did them and they were, you know, they start with their billet or whatever. Yeah. And it's just a solid like disc and then they usually machine it out of that. Mm-hmm. Right. They made one that was just oh, the disc. Oh, yeah, just the disc. Yeah. Super cool. Yeah. Like the simplicity of it. Yeah. And then there was another one that I think they might have made too. I can't remember, but it was, I guess it was plexiglass, I want to say. Oh. So it was completely oh, see through. And then cool. it was just reinforced to have the, that's cool. the lugs hook up and stuff. That's looked sick. So they could have done something like that yeah. with a plexiglass that was carved, maybe even had LED or something in yeah. it that was like this shape, but had like the shape of a wheel. Yeah, carved into it with lights. Yeah, or something. Well, because you're the the that's wheels. That's pretty don't... intense for wheels for one show. Yeah, but I mean, whatever, if you're but... doing a SEMA build, like yeah. the the fact that they have a bubble on the wheels, like the steely is designed that way. Yeah. around it, so it has a really smooth, bubbly look to it, but nothing on the car does, and it's a matte finish on a car. Like it's, everything it's else really... on the car is super sharp, so it's yeah. kind of and it conflicting. That's why the wheels look out of place. It's conflicting. Yeah, it's just, it's wow, where did you find this? Is so weird. Such a, it, I feel like that's such a Volkswagen esque thing. Yeah, like that rim, that the, exact yeah. look. Yeah. Like just a solid with the chrome finish yeah. on the inside. But, I wonder so. if the artist pitched VW on it first. <laughs> like I will make a van again again. It'll be really cool because Volkswagen has yeah. their well, IQ or I four or whatever. Yep, what they're called yeah. ID four. Yeah, ID four. And they could and that. Oh, I think it. Nissan's trying to go after Volkswagen. Sorry, I didn't mean to kick you. I, like, I was like, hey, <laughs> shut up, dude. <laughs> That's not what I like I wonder if they're trying to go after that mm-hmm. that, that target crowd. audience. Yeah, if they like they like the Volkswagen. Like Volkswagen's obviously proved there's like a crazy cult following of like their vehicles. For yeah, years, especially years, customizing years. them. I yeah. mean, how many golf are there? Especially with look, us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but like guilty. I wonder if they're trying because like that's not, doesn't exist with Nissan. Like you have no like, GTRs and 350Zs, mm-hmm. and then that's it. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen some Maximas pretty slammed. That's true. Out there. Usually just some because of broken springs, some because of the road. <laughs> but yeah. it's it's weird. It's like they're trying to go 
it totally does feel like they're trying to appeal to those like the Vanagon type people. But mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know. Weird. It doesn't feel like the. It doesn't even feel like the right car to choose. Like this, so was this the shape of the car? Was this yeah. bad EV? Bad EV? <laughs> was it too bad? No, you did good EV. Oh, I, oh, so we. Okay. Yeah, no, I did two bad EVs. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you did good yeah. EV, better well, EV, Cadillac, bad yeah. EV, bad EV. Okay, okay. <laughs> we're even. We're even. Yep. Cool. So. Yeah, that's awesome, awesome, man. Thank you for sharing. I wow. don't know. I've never seen good, anything like that. Good job finding those things, dude. That's yeah. funny. <laughs> Thank you all for watching episode 38 of the Third Pedal Podcast. Reminder again, that was loud. Head to thirdpedalpodcast.com for everything you could possibly need regarding the podcast. Yeah. For anybody uh, who's new to the show, thank you so much for coming yeah. with us. A lot, a lot of stuff coming ahead. Next week's going to be a fun so episode. This is a bumpy ending, huh? <laughs> bumpy start, bumpy ending. And always how it goes good. when we do our live ones again. Uh, but anyway, have a great week. We'll talk to you next one. Peace. Peace. Adios.